Richard Southern joins us to chat about some of the day's most interesting stories, and that includes some remarkable developments on the surface of the red planet. Hey, Richard. Hey, Erica. It's been a while since we checked in on Mars Perseverance rover. Uh, it's been busy on the red planet. It has now, Erica, collected the first sample of a rock to send back to Earth. You can see the hole that it drilled there, and that is the sample tube. Within it is the little piece of rock that it collected, about the size of a, a pen light. Uh, now, this rock over the weekend, this sample tube over the weekend, was sealed in an airtight titanium tube and transferred into the rover's interior, uh, where it is going, where it has been imaged and it's going to be cached away, uh, waiting to be sent back to Earth. What's going to happen is the rover is going to collect dozen, dozens of more such samples. It's going to eventually drop them on the surface of Mars. Another mission is going to come along and blast them back to Earth. That's going to happen perhaps as early as 2031, but not before that. Uh, this is the first time a, a sample uh, of a rock has been taken from another planet. Uh, so a very remarkable thing here. We talked to Erica about the first time it tried to take a sample and it disappeared. They right. think that rock was, it was, they think it was too um, uh, fragile. It just sort of fell apart, but right. this one works. So that's pretty, that's pretty cool. The yeah. rover was busy over the weekend. And there. a complex mission to get it back to, to Earth. So we're not going to see it for a very long time. And I wonder if it's going to be like the moon where you can't purchase, you know, a little bit of Mars rock <laughs> personally. Well, can you imagine? Obviously, it's not going to be for sale, but can you imagine if they did put a price on that? I mean, it yeah. would be uh, priceless. almost uh, priceless. Yeah. yeah, interesting. Okay, what happens when you bring airplanes and tunnels together? Well, apparently, you get a new <laughs> world record, Richard. Yeah, usually it would be nothing good, but uh, this is another amazing thing that happened over the weekend. A pilot, for the first time ever, flew an airplane through not one, but two tunnels. Let's have a look at this. He reads... <laughs> this gives me anxiety just watching it. That is a tight space. I mean, one false move and you're splashed on one of the walls. Oh, yeah. And you'd think that was impressive enough, but he's going to come up on yet another tunnel and go through that. Wow, that speed is unbelievable. This is an Italian uh, pilot, and he broke a couple of Guinness World Records doing this. This happened in Turkey. And he said he practiced a year for this 43 second flight, but of course had never flown through a tunnel before. So it's amazing that he actually got out okay. <laughs> My heart, I can't watch these videos, Richard. Why are you showing me these things? My heart, I can't take it. <laughs> I can't take it. I just think, yeah, one, one false move and it's over. Okay, uh, speaking of unusual feats, a teenager has landed himself a spot in the Guinness Book of World Records. Yeah, 13 year old from Japan, uh, notching a few records doing indoor skydiving. Have you heard of indoor skydiving? I before? have, yeah, I've seen it. It looks really fun. It does look fun. You're yeah, basically in this big sort of wind tunnel, and, you know, it shoots you up in the air. Now, this 13 year old broke world records for the most spins, front spins, and the most 360 horizontal spins. I, I believe it's a she. She did 78 front spins and 90 horizontal spins to not some world records. You'd be pretty pretty dizzy after that, wouldn't you, Mary? Yeah, I hope she didn't eat anything beforehand. I couldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Would you both, do both it? the both Would the you? both the pilot. I'd like to try. I've actually done real skydiving. So have before, I. Erica. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Well, I think you and I need to do some indoor skydiving and bring a camera along and show everybody. That would be a lot of fun. Just putting it out there. I'd be game for that. We'll organize that. We'll, but no going through tunnels and airplanes. We're Please not no. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Thanks, Richard, and we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.